Charles, this is Deontay LeBron from Wilder, heavyweight champion of the world, and you're watching Real Fans Real Talk. RealFansRealTalk.com Where well, Arthur Diamond, Trick Young, and Intern Tom For the white and black fans, Asia to Manhattan I get all my facts from my bro Mark the Stats Man If you're not tuned in, I recommend the CAT scan uh -huh, uh -huh. And if your brain checks out, then you deserve a backhand <laughs> Sports, gossip, all the hot topics hey, hey. RealFansRealTalk.com got it uh -huh. They got the hottest bloggers Is Jeremy Lynn hurt? We'll log on to the site and you can hear it from them first uh -huh. I'm talking about the latest, yeah, I'm talking yeah. about the yeah, Go yeah. check out the archives, even tell a neighbor, tell a Bobby sent ya. From spring to winter, tune in should be the only thing on your agenda. Certified coach, son, you know what I'm about, son. Real fans, real talk .com. I'm out, boom. Real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk .com. Real fans, real talk .com. Uh, Real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk. What's going on? Welcome to another live episode of Real Fans Real Talk. It feels so good to be back. All Star Weekend, it was pretty good. I ain't gonna say it was the best I've seen, in, you know, but it was it was pretty good. But uh, we got a whole lot to get into. My main man Joe Flacco was on the move, uh, man, and of course uh, more more uh, Antonio Brown news. But let me introduce my co-host, the one and only Mark the Stat Man Skevich. What's going on, man? It is great to be back for another live episode of Real Fans Real Talk, and I'm gonna do something today that I've never done before on Real Fans Real Talk. But we're going to get into that shortly. We got Scoopy joining us again. What's Great up? to have you back, Thanks having the having scoop me. on the sports. <laughs> I'm gonna, I might change my name to Scoop A to make it seem like I'm in front <laughs> we, of you. We can do that. Scoop B. Hey, man. I'm just glad to be with you all here in Brooklyn. Always a pleasure. And fresh uh, off fresh off your All-Star weekend trip as well. Yeah, yeah I'm, I finally have caught up with my sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm not even mad at you. Um, I know it was crazy. Of course, though, Emerald back with us. She took a few weeks off. I know I missed you guys. That's all good because I know you was doing, you know, you had your, your raw beauty shoot. Yeah, and, you know, yeah Valentine's you Day. I ain't going to hold you. You got some girls with you in that, uh, you know, working with you, doing the modeling. <laughs> so, you ShotRawBeauty.com. <laughs> all right, that is it. I am going live on Instagram. <laughs> oh, no. The first time. Oh, checking the connection. Hold on. Let's see if this in, works. In life? <laughs> he said it like he never in used life. the phone before. No, I've never been live on Instagram before. I oh, need to wow. do it on on the show. Can I join you? Go ahead. You, you, you can. Go live, go live, we we might have to do a differing connection here. I don't know. I'm not on the I'm not on the <laughs> Wi-Fi. Make sure you so all we, follow him on Instagram. We got yeah yeah. Make What's sure your IG? Y'all follow the Statman, yo. Statman underscore Skevich, but it, it it looks like it's still checking the connection. That oh, is man, a problem. Yeah, all right, listen, we got a whole lot to get into. All right. <laughs> I ain't got time for y'all. So y'all need to y'all need the Verizon. Well, he's a Sprint guy now, but y'all need the old Sprint guy from Verizon to get y'all service <laughs> together. Oh. But why y'all doing I'm that? Shout out to Joe Harris, uh, Brooklyn, Brooklyn was Nets. in the building. That's the second yeah. year in a row somebody from Brooklyn won one of the the, the other events. Um, Joe Harris took that three point shootout, yeah. knocked off uh, uh, the chef. Steph, uh, Steph Curry to the take, hometown to, guy take the yeah exactly right, yeah. to take mm -hmm. the three point time. I mean, it's a Brooklyn thing, though. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. you you gotta expect that we was gonna go down there and represent. And uh, you know, Joe Harris been shooting the lights out this whole season. That's why the Nets have actually Six been points. doing really good. Yeah. You know, with I mean, there, there's no real superstars in Brooklyn mm -hmm. right now. There's not. Nah. Not you don't sure. consider D'Angelo Russell at least a star. I might give him a star. Okay. And I like D'Angelo Russell. Yeah. He rubbed me, you know, the wrong way, you know, with that whole, I ain't with this whole snitching stuff with uh, Swaggy P when he was out in L.A. Sure. But since he came oh, to Brooklyn, I'm trying goodness. to, I'm not with him. We don't, we don't. I'm, I'm on live now, listen, too. Listen. Uh, we, we're hey. live here on Instagram. <laughs> now, now everybody's uh, live. Um, everybody's we're good. live here on cable TV, Real <laughs> Fans, Real Talk, hey, Spectrum 56, Verizon 44, and Optimum 69 if you're watching all, all in of Brooklyn. That, all of that. Now, the reason why I'm doing this today, okay, is because <laughs> there's a huge announcement in the world of sports. LeBron James has turned, activated his playoff mode. Okay, he did it already. I heard this story that he's activated Listen, his playoff Zero Dark Twenty Three. Yeah, it's going down. <laughs> so, Listen, I'm you. Not only did he say that, but he said he usually doesn't like to do it this early. Yeah, but he's doing it now. So what no does that mean? Media? Is he is he a Power Ranger? Is it morphing time? Like, no, what it is place. That no social media yeah. and straight Hunger Games right now. He's gonna be reading <laughs> the next Hunger Games book, and does, it's going does down. He, does he the think Lakers it's a video game where where he has well, like the boost mode? They call or him. They call him. Like they call him video game James for a reason. 
Okay. You know, so right now what's going to happen is you're going to see the Lakers snap back into position. They're going to make the playoffs. They're going to make it all the way to the Western Conference Finals, and they're going to make a series right. out of this thing with this matchup with Golden well, State. Well, what does this playoff mode activated mean? Can is, I inject for a is second? He, is he, Go ahead, Scoop. Uh, let's see what Scoop has <laughs> right, to say so about this. Scoop I just came back from Charlotte. Charlotte. Okay. I uh, spoke to uh, a high-ranking official with the Los Angeles Lakers mm -hmm. uh, on Friday who told me that uh, you know, the Lakers are currently sitting in 10th place. They have a game tonight on TNT at 10.30 against the uh, Houston Rockets. And mm -hmm. they basically, big game. Big game tonight. And they basically to they told me um, they don't want to face the Golden State Warriors in the early rounds. Currently, the Warriors are in first place above uh, the Denver Nuggets. But uh, mm -hmm. they want to get a seventh seed. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. They want to get a seventh seed. They'd like to avoid uh, the Golden State Warriors in the early <coughs> rounds. And, uh, and just that conversation, I told them I had FS1's Jason McIntyre on the Scoopy Radio podcast. And yeah. he said to me, uh, that if if the Lakers are able to play the Warriors in the later rounds, they have a chance mm -hmm. yeah. uh, to beat uh, the Warriors or at least compete with them I mean, in the we Western saw them on Conference Christmas. Finals. That's yeah. all well and good, sure. but Seven playoff games. mode activated is the corniest thing I've ever heard anybody say before. Ooh. It was like, what is he, Popeye? Like, he was saving his spinach for later. So and it's like, it's a, it's I think it's the hate. It's the hate. It and it runs out so after a little period of time. So you support. Yeah, Statman, you, you have just activated the playoff hate mode. I can see yeah. right now. Because your level of hate for LeBron James has gotten does, so does high right now. that mean he wasn't now. trying to win before? Like, no, I don't he, was, he, no was, he was trying to win. It means. They're in a deficit right now. I turn it on so, like, you know, They were in a deficit. It's a mindset. What did Soldier Boy say? Hop up out the bed, turn my swag now. Listen, so, heard took a you. look in the mirror said, what's up? Right. Sure. He getting money. It's going yeah. down. It's going down. <laughs> Listen. I still think it's corny. That's, that's, well, you know, that's you're the president of the LeBron opinion. James hate club, so yeah, we expect so that from you. Come on. Why are you the president of, Le of the, I used why? to be the president, the CEO, well, all the comparisons to Jordan, that, that, that's what really bothers me. Well, I commend Ryan for talking this shit all season because last reason. time we talked about well, right he, now he's in 10th place with the Lakers. Even before Jordan had Pippen, he still made the playoffs. So if he doesn't make the playoffs uh, this year, I don't even want to be here. The first, the the first couple of years in Chicago, the Bulls were doing that good. Of the club. You can't Not the first. It. Years, but he did make it to the playoffs, well, and he know, scored 63 uh, against the Celtics without Scotty. The season Pippen, is not over. We don't right. even know. Where it's also the anniversary right of when Jordan scored 40 points at Listen. age 40. But that's another. Story. But you can't deny LeBron for being. He's killing. He's but he's one of playoff mode activated. And what, he doesn't compare just, himself to. to I think Jordan. there's a different there's a different um, climate with that LeBron James is playing in right now. Um, yeah. And so. You know, to, to activate zero dark 23, whatever that is. <laughs> the um, cheat code? <laughs> it's a little what different. I think it's a mindset. That, um, thank you. But he didn't like, want to win no, no, before? No, it's like, but it's, it's, it's like as Space an athlete, Jam when you, they got you, Michael Jordan's secret stuff at the half and then they came back and beat the Monstars. It's like that. So he's getting in tune squad mode? No, so I yes. think as an athlete, Jam, you have a... He's in Space Jam too, so yeah, he's so getting that, ready. That's what it I is. think as an athlete, you have to turn sometimes have a mindset where you have to tune in and you have to just shut everything out. And that's probably metaphorically what he's trying to say. I'll add this. Um, when LeBron James went down on Christmas Day against the Warriors and had the groin injury, mm -hmm. uh, I got a text message from a, a league source who shared with me uh, that basically uh, that injury was more complex uh, than it would, was originally reported. Mm -hmm. uh, and I was told that LeBron could come back as early as the end of January as late or miss uh, the month of February, even come back in March. Mm. Uh, I, I, I spoke with a couple people out in L.A. Uh, who said that they spoke with someone that said he could actually come back by the Sixers game, uh, which they, they played the Sixers, and yeah. he actually ended up coming back on J January 31st against the Clippers. It was a home game. LeBron's injury is still affecting him. I watched him during the game. There were parts of the game that he looked a little winded. Yeah. Um, and, and, I'll, and I'll add... Uh, that when you look at LeBron James and what he's had to carry and shoulder, the, in addition to the Lakers at large, they've dealt with a lot of injuries. You've yeah. had Rondo ball out. You've had Rondo, you've had Rondo out. You've mm -hmm. had LeBron out. Um, and, and you've had all of the, the drama that comes with having a LeBron James yeah. on your team. Josh Hart is back tonight. Yep. Josh Hart is back tonight. But, you know, I think that this year, first year uh, in L.A. was definitely an experiment. I think that the Anthony Davis rumors that, that had been spurned since October mm -hmm. definitely mm -hmm. accentuated the pressure to win. But, I still do think that in year one, um, this is the year for them to kind of get it together. Yeah. Next year is less of an experimental year, but it's more like we got to win this time. Gotta, it's, it's time to win. Yeah. Now, I, I wanted to I ask you that. specifically about the whole Del uh, Dempsey uh, firing because I kind of thought, I mean, 
it, it kind of came out of nowhere. I know, you know, they talk about the, he gave a couple people some bad contracts before, but you know, right now, I mean, after the it, see, it, it looked like right after the the non trade of Anthony Davis, it was like, oh, you didn't get this thing right, so we're firing you. But in reality, I feel like if the owners wanted that trade to happen, it would have happened. Yep. So the I don't ultimately, before you answer right that, uh, LeBron James activated his playoff mode. I activated my Facebook Live to hate on it. I mean, Instagram Live, excuse me. But I'm deactivating it now. So for those of you who have uh, cable TV, it's Verizon 44 in all five boroughs of NYC. In Brooklyn, it's Spectrum Channel 56 and Optimum 69. So you can continue watching. We are live until 9 o'clock tonight we on cable TV. Hey, and follow Scoop B, ladies and gentlemen. Scoop underscore B. Uh, to answer your question about Del Demps, um, Del Demps, former NBA player, uh, mm -hmm. been there for years, I believe was with the, with the uh, Pelicans for eight and a half seasons. Um, I, I think it's obviously you're going to always have a fall guy. Um, yeah. And mm -hmm. unfortunately in that situation it, it was him being a former uh, uh, NBA guy. I talked to a couple people who were actually close to Del Demps and uh, said they reached out and mm -hmm. no response yet. But what they did say to me was they said, damn. You know, you fire this guy on the busiest day of, of the NBA season, Friday, uh, when media yeah. day and all those other things start. Um, and, and a lot of people were <coughs> resounding um, that I spoke to, why would you fire him? But, th again, it goes back to the fall guy situation. Yeah. But why not wait till the end of the season? Um, but there's because, really no reason for the GM. It's not like they fired their coach. Like, yeah. the GM, like, the trade deadline is done. That's what I mean. So why not wait till the end of the there season? There is a lot of confusion within that Pelicans front office. Number one, you're an organization that also runs a football team, and you're running, a football mm. you're running an NBA team like a football team. Of yeah. course, the Benson family uh, owns the New Orleans Saints as well as the New Orleans Pelicans. But in addition to that, I think there's a culture for years, um, and I think this has been a curse that they've had ever since that Lakers-Chris Paul uh, situation some years ago. They could not get it right. Mm -hmm. um, and I also do think uh, that when you have a guy in Anthony Davis who for the first time was vocal about his intentions uh, and was deferring to his agent in Rich Paul, mm -hmm. um, I, I think it's almost like they've been they've – been, Man, it, it seems like LeBron James has his handprint on everything, and I think that. Well, because there's anything that comes out of Rich Paul, they're gonna it's say clutch. it's LeBron. Yes. You know, I mean, even though we all kind of feel like <laughs> that's us LeBron anyway, but that's what that was my my other question with you was the whole thing where they were trying to say LeBron was tampering. Uh, yeah. You know, with the whole AD trade, mm -hmm. did you feel that way? I think the lines blur, um, and I think that that's what. Um, is today's NBA. Uh, you have a lot of guys and ladies and, and, and people in certain positions that they've known each other since childhood. They've played AAU basketball together. Yeah, it's a family, um, too. It's a family affair. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, you know, at the end of the day, it's, it's hard to say. Yeah. Um, I'll say that um, LeBron is smart in the sense of he's got someone who was in an agency position or invested his own money, and he's got somebody mm -hmm. um, being the Dame Dash to his Jay-Z doing the dirty work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, that being said, uh, I think that LeBron is also hated because he's one of those guys who manage their own brand. And I yep. think a lot of people, when they don't do it, when he doesn't do it the way that it's been done, mm -hmm. uh, folks get upset. And so to directly answer your question about the, the collusion, I think, is what, or the tampering at the very mm -hmm. least, they're blurred lines. I and think. not to mention, um, they all they did was meet up for dinner, I believe, with his agent. And they speculated that he that was collusion. But like you said, LeBron is more than a player. He's really mastered not only running his brand but being a businessman. Sure. So he's smart. So of course, if that's your boy, you guys meet up. Of course, it's blurred lines. They probably talked about business, of course, and have a personal personal relationship. So. I mean, it, and, you know, we were discussing at the intro of the show about Michael Jordan. I don't think LeBron is Michael Jordan. I actually think he's more Magic Johnson than he is Michael Jordan in mm -hmm. the style of play mm -hmm. um, and, and the impact that he has or the imprint that he leaves on a team when they're playing basketball. But I do think for this age group or this generation, I think there is some nostalgia that folks do feel as far as the alpha male who is the face of the National Basketball Association. Yeah. Um, and I think On the team, the imprint that he leaves on the team that he constantly wants changed every single year, unlike he, Jordan who sure, played with who he had and won. Sure, but it's a different NBA and there's a lot more money that's being yeah. made now. Mm -hmm. And I also do think that when you have general managers and presidents who make moves, nobody questions them. But when a player does it, that part they're is, wrong. That I'm, part. I'm, not, I'm not disagreeing with you, mm -hmm. but I do think it's a brave new world out there when it comes to money, uh, endorsements, and, and people being in control of their destiny. It's more AAU-centered than it is yep. you know, yeah. team loyalty. And the loyalty that coaches had back in the day, I don't think it's consistent right now. I don't think coaches really uh, support their players. Yeah. Even the way they talk to press, 
about their like a lot of things it's not what it used to be so you can't blame them for you know what i mean for switching like that so it's a different culture yeah and at the end of the day mm -hmm. lebron james um by himself has more rings than the entire New York Knicks franchise. So I think well, that's what we're it, talking about LeBron uh, James and Jordan. So you well, want to no, go saying, on. But I'm just saying, you know where the level of hate gets escalated at when when an individual player has more rings than the franchise that you've been behind for your whole life and have been losing for 44 <laughs> plus years and going <laughs> on this another this. 44 <laughs> plus years. The level of hate He had to recruit elevated. former Knicks to, to, you know? to go and get some of those rings, though. Well, with, they couldn't with, win in New York, so he figured Trump, he'd bring so. them over and, and show them how to, you know, yeah. how to win and he brought them over to Cleveland and they, and they won. I think LeBron James going to Miami uh, was almost like uh, him leaving high school, going away to college. And I think that him going and playing yeah. for Miami and being around uh, Dwayne Wade, who mm -hmm. showed him the ropes from what he learned from Shaq and mm -hmm. Riley and other people, I think he took that back to Cleveland when he when he made his return. Yeah. Um, and I think that, um, you know, that's that imprint was kind of left on a young Kyrie, which is why he's in Boston now kind of he's moving confused. the way he is. Um, he seems a little confused right I, now. I, I was with Kyrie on Friday, and I'll tell you, he's a lot more calculated than people will give him credit for because he's quiet. And um, mm. people, well, I'm saying from the standpoint, he's not of, that he got, quiet. What he, he got what he wanted to leave the jump. For, you know, from clearly wanted to be the number one guy. Sure. And then he realized being a number one guy, yep. you know, is, is not as easy as, oh, it it's not. as it looks. It's not. It's not. Because he commended right. Brian for that when he came out and was like, "Look, yeah. I wasn't. I have a lot more respect for him than when I was with him." <laughs> I think LeBron James exemplifies um, the, the the world of a freelancer. Yeah, mm -hmm. a guy that has impact on wherever he goes. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think that whether you like it or not, he brings a cachet of of, of business to whatever city he goes to. Mm -hmm. um, and he's responsible for the business or the infrastructure. When he left Cleveland, the first time they felt it. When he came yeah. back, it was like twenty 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 million a year mm -hmm. was the loss uh, when he wow. when he left to go to Miami. Yeah, um, he was the coming attraction in the city of Cleveland. Yeah, you're absolutely right. But I, I, I do understand your your perspective as a as a as a longtime viewer or coverer of of, of basketball. Mm -hmm. um, you feel as though there should there should be a level of of, of uh, loyalty. Um, I remember having a conversation with, with not Sneaker. so much loyalty, but when you compare, you know, eras, Jordan, no hand checking. I think sure. he score probably closer to forty points per game. He averaged more than any other player in history at over 30 points per game. Uh, you know, that included his Wizards years when he was mm -hmm. flunking down. It would have been even higher had mm -hmm. it not been for the, the third comeback. Um, but, I mean, well, second comeback. You know, One uh, of those. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, you know, it's funny. I, I spoke to someone over the weekend, and they said something about the Jordan Wizards thing that kind of made sense. How difficult it is to actually own a team. And they, the person who shared this information with me said that basically Michael played for the Wizards because when he was trying to, you know, be part of the, the ownership group back in Washington, mm -hmm. they wouldn't let him. And right. from what I'm hearing... Well, it was against the rules for him to play for the team that he owned, so he actually sold his stake in the Wizards and got a, the, an equal dollar amount mm -hmm. stake in the Washington Capitals. Mm -hmm. And then he ended up playing. Yeah, um, so that way he was allowed to play mm -hmm. for the team it, that he used to own. And it wasn't really that he wanted to play. He was trying to make a splash yeah. in ownership and felt that had he done that, that would bring some type of re legitimacy or relevancy to that organization. Mm -hmm. And that it really is a good old boys club uh, in the yeah. sense of, you know, him getting into the, the Hornets or the Bobcats was because Bob Johnson had done it first and, 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 yeah. and basically exchanged hands. But that, you know, he you really think about it, he's the first NBA player to own have a majority stake in an NBA team, mm -hmm. and then it's kind of uh, ceremonial. Be second. I, I, w I wouldn't doubt well, it. I Magic believe Johnson it. Yeah. has. Well, he, that's baseball. Oh yeah, with well, the Dodgers. Well, and he wasn't, the, the, majority for, yeah. Yeah. he yeah. wasn't yeah. the majority owner. he wasn't the majority owner of the of the Lakers, the mm -hmm. Bus family. Yeah, yeah. But I, I do think that you know, as Charlotte leaves and you exchange to Chicago. Mm -hmm. You're seeing just the Bulls didn't want to give him any type of ownership or anything. I'm hearing, and you know that situation it's with crazy. the Hornets was the perfect storm. Him playing for the University of North Carolina. Yeah, yeah. It's been a lot of his life over there in North Carolina. But oh, he was sure. born in Brooklyn. Just you definitely gotta know, yeah. you know, great. So born he's from in Brooklyn. Brooklyn originally. Just so birthplace know. of Michael Jordan, home yeah. of Biggie Smalls. <laughs> 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 just so y'all, just so y'all know. All right, Let, let's go back to the, the All Star game itself. You said you kind of enjoyed it. I mean. I thought Le the team LeBron actually wa was going to win. They did end up winning, but they weren't yeah. controlling the game for the entire game. Giannis Ooh. was uh, yeah. Yeah. 38 points. Yeah. It's 
crazy. Yeah, he did. Uh, you know, but Durant and uh, Damian Lillard came off the bench late. Uh, Brad, Bradley Beal, a couple of those guys. They got they had some shooters to help uh, bring the team back, and then mm. they just brought it home in, uh, in 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 the fourth quarter. And Durant did deserve the MVP. Yeah, like, yeah. You know, I mean, yeah, nobody else was gonna. get But that. I'm a little worried because you know the fan votes. You never know if like LeBron was gonna win it or something ridiculous. No, they, they, like they, you know, no. The fans mm. actually got it right in that sense. Oh, but the fans, as far as the MVPs, the fans usually get that get that one. Just right. the actual it's the, players. It's the coming. players. Yeah, the, the starting five. They don't always get right because you know we had those Yao Ming years. There. We had the, the the injury Kobe years, the injury yeah. AI years, the injury T Mac years, where they would just Vince you know, Carter. And Vince. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Speaking of Yao Ming, it was released that uh, KG said that there was a one million dollar yes, bounty, bounty on any yeah. USA team member <laughs> that dunks on Yao Ming. So they didn't. They didn't get it. Though. I was a little mm-hmm. upset about that. that somebody. Should, I, I, in fact, but you know what? I, I looked back at the team and I. I you know what? There wasn't really too many crazy dunkers on that squad. It was, yeah. it, huh? it was Vince. Huh? All right, like let's say <laughs> yeah, you had no, because I mean, you know, you, you had you had. You didn't you had need to do that. a between the legs dunk on Wasn't him. You just needed a dunk on him. Yeah, yeah that was wasn't that the Vince Carter team. when he dunked over? Uh, he jumped over Frederick. Yeah, White I said White? Vince was probably the only one that okay, could have dunked on I, on that team. See, I'm still dealing with yeah. the Charlotte Jets. Yeah, I said Vince. That was it. The rest of those guys were no. Still have one of the centers dunk on him too. Sean Marion was on the team, wasn't he? I don't know, man. It didn't have to be a fancy was he, dunk. Was, it just had to be a dunk. Was he the Matrix on, man? Because, well, yeah. you know, he kind of, after a while. I yes, mean, he I, was. You know, that ugly <laughs> shot just throws me off still. I can't. I'm sorry. That, that jump shot is just bad. He looked like he jumped off the toilet bowl. <laughs> yeah, I don't oh, know. Yeah. No. I don't know what he, what he does with that shot. But you know what? He actually had a great career. So, shout out to uh, to Sean uh, Marion. I used to put him on my team on on on, uh, on all of the 2Ks. And all. As a matter of fact, first of all, yeah, y'all gotta, y'all gotta, y'all gotta y'all, when y'all go back on y'all my player, all right, and y'all going to the to the league news, make sure y'all check out the commentary because Scoop B is all up on the game. Yes, sir. You know, uh, so yeah, yeah, and that, a lot of people don't know that. And we, I really, last time you came, we didn't really get to go in as much and let the people know that you are actually on NBA Two K. I am. Uh, I first am. of all, how did that even that whole yeah. situation come about? Shout out to Ronnie, Ronnie Two K. Ronnie Two K. Shout out to Ronnie Two K, man. But to shout out to. Uh, my boy Rob Jones, uh, who's Who the, the producer lightning? at uh, NBA 2K, that told me the right avenues. The funny thing is, um, wow. they actually, I, I reached out to someone at 2K the day after the All-Star game last year. I said, how can I get on the game? And he walked, Rob walked me through the process. And Rob basically said, you know, you call this person. I had my paperwork by the next month, signed it, and was pretty quiet about it until um so how does Scoop September. A get in the game? <laughs> <laughs> just gotta make a call. Just make a call. Just make a call, and we can make that happen. But no, I mean, really and truly, uh, it's a blessing, particularly yeah. because I've played NBA 2K since the first cover when Allen Iverson was on the cover. Like mm-hmm. I still yeah. remember Dreamcast, Dreamcast. I used to take a Dreamcast. Yep. And I remember the theme song, "You the Lost Soldier." When I hit you with the crossbow, mm-hmm. I pull up and I makes my like yeah. 2K for Shout me. Out to AI, man. Yes, yes. Did you see that moment with him and Steph? Did you see that? Yeah. No. You see that? It was just a moment on the side when he just hugged him and was like, I remember when you was a baby. Like, when I remember when you were younger. It was just like a special, beautiful yeah. moment. Cause yeah, because you, if you... Steph, well, because Steph's been around the league. Steph yeah. is the godson of the uh, NBA. Yeah. Yes. And Del, Del Curry. Del and to Curry. play against or see these legends that you... They remember you sitting in your father's lap and oh, to sure. yeah. shine in like that. He had the, the windbreaker jacket yeah. that he had. Uh, I know. It was so cute. I seen that. Yeah. Well, I ain't going to say it's cute, but... You know, I, had stop. No, it, it, was, it, was, <laughs> it was... It was cute. Because I seen the before and after. I was like, wow, that's amazing. No, and Steph's daughter is going to be a star in the WNBA. We're going to be looking back. Riley Curry. She is Riley a Riley could dunk right now, so you know she gonna, she gonna be able well, to. She needs a little help with the dunk. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. Oh, for sure. But she's, okay. she's, she's a sweetheart. <laughs> no, for so. sure, for sure. That's a good, can we, can we talk about Unless the dunk? Unless she's doing the, the little baby ones that I practice. Oh, well, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's When that's I did the 360 too. between the legs one, you know. Yeah, that was supposed to be for balling for peace, yeah. but it didn't, it didn't happen that way. So, it's, <laughs> you know, it's all good, Stan. You get them next year. But it's coming up again. The actual dunk contest, uh, Diallo won. Is um, he from Queens? Is he originally from Queens? Yeah. You know, I'm not sure. Yeah. Where he's from, I got to look, look into that and see where, he, where he's from originally. But Dennis Smith Jr. made it to the finals. He had some impressive dunks. That uh, dunk over Shaq with the armor in the net yeah. was ridiculous. Yeah. I'm not even mad at him at all for that. Even though I was pulling for Dennis Smith Jr., but that he was supposed to win it with that with that armor in the net dunk. And he actually was crazy because I, I was watching the footage. He actually did that same dunk um, in college. In, uh, in high school, in the dunk contest where he went against Zion Williamson. Wow. The only difference is he had the Superman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he had the at the. I mean, you know, Kenny Smith. Yeah, Superman yeah. is in the building. 
Yeah, yeah. He, he he definitely deserved it. I don't, Dennis Smith just missed that that last uh, the last round. Yeah, that that's what because, I didn't like because like that dunk was crazy. If had he had made it, mm -hmm. yeah. But the fact that he missed it and he kept trying it the whole time and you only get two dunks. Yeah, it's like and they they gave him sevens to kind of keep him alive and and make you know, Diallo. It was, it was gonna be yeah, yeah but it, it was so point. hard to. But the really, J Cole dunked though when he dunked over yeah. J Cole. That I was know. that was it right there. I was, he's supposed to win the whole thing just off of, off of that J Cole. That dunk. the slam dunk contest, um, 2016 was cool. Aaron Gordon and, yeah, yeah. and, mm -hmm. and, and Zach, Zach Levine. Levine. Yeah. Um, but I really do think that the slam dunk contest, since 2000, Vince broke the video <coughs> game. Yeah. Vince Carter broke the video game. And well, we've yeah. seen everything. That's the thing is, we, we ha like, the only t the only dunks that I, like, you know, we just have, like, the N1 mixtape guys. Yeah. Those guys would do some stuff I've never seen in the NBA. Mm -hmm. But as far as, you know, the players, you know, it's eventually we do I don't do think the NBA dunks. wants that static, though. And I've always, I, I agree with you. I, I feel like if you bring, you bring all these props, why not bring outside people? Yeah, or le at least one. Because usually one, you're not guy, you're not having guy. the big name guys out there anyway. Yeah, yeah. You know, so you might as well just you know put guys out there that aren't in the NBA that are there for the sake of dunking. Yeah, like, that that mm -hmm. could actually be That'll big be for the fine. league if they had like yeah. a, a tournament. You know, you could submit your your your, your video clips of you dunking, doing some crazy dunks, and have the fans vote, pick one guy. And have him in the dunk contest mm -hmm. with the other players, like that would be be amazing for the NBA. It's or even culture. if it's the, the NBA players aren't involved, then you just have those guys because maybe they don't want the NBA players getting out outstaged by, you know, the other. Well, that, guys. That's definitely gonna happen if they yeah. if they bring out one of, especially one of those guys, yeah. the helicopter, or one of those dudes yeah. that could do seven eighties and nine thousands so, and all type 20s. of yeah. all type of crazy dunks. Like yeah, they Plus would. Plus, it can get crazy, and you're not worried about injury. Like you know, you're not worried about. Oh, they don't care about that. That's that's their moment. They're gonna be good. They're gonna be doing <laughs> everything they wanted to try to do in life. They're gonna do when they get on that stage if they get that kind of opportunity. There were only four players in the dunk contest too, and there was just yeah. two rounds. You have two players, and then two players got knocked off, and I think only two dunks. I think you should have, you know, going forward for next year, at least make it. You have three dunks in the finals. One of them, you take the best score of two. Mm -hmm. That way, in this instance, like Dennis Smith Jr., who was trying. An extremely difficult dunk. He won't be completely penalized for it, and yeah. you don't need Diallo coming out there, not even going hard because he knows he yeah, missed so the other well. dunk, and he doesn't really need a high score. Like, mm -hmm. I think that um, the three-point shootout is more enticing. Uh, yeah, the <clears throat> slam dunk. It's still only shooting though. Like, yeah. I, I know it's exciting because of how close it is and everything, but I don't think it's just that. I think the NBA right now is currently just a shooter. It's a shooter's league. league yeah, and it's mm -hmm. funny. I was with Ray Allen. Uh, Friday, and we talk uh, about just the, the way that the league is going with shooting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Of course, I asked him, I said, yo, why you leave? Why are you not coming? He said, man, I've been here for 18 years. I'm done. Uh, but he said to me, he thinks that there's going to be a point in the league where somebody like a DeAndre Ayton, who has that body type, um, that's going to get old. The shooting is going to get old, and you're actually going to go back, back to, to the back to the basket. Back to the basket. Because he said to me that over time, Things evolve in the NBA. Yep. Mm -hmm. You know that you got guys like Dwight, who I think was ahead of his time with his mobility and his ability to dribble Drive. and get to the basket. Yeah. Even somebody like former Net Brook Lopez had mm -hmm. the dexterity to move out to shoot threes. Uh, but that thing that came later in his career. It came later in his career because he was getting when hurt. he was with the Nets. He wasn't really knocking down yeah. threes like his that. last year with the Nets. But you're right. As 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 he's gotten older, yeah. um, mm -hmm. I, I I do think that you got to um, evolve your game if you want to stick around. The the big man has evolved, but the big man he feels is going to go back to what it was. And um, Well, DeMarcus Cousins wasn't shooting threes before. I remember when he was attempting threes, and they were like, what are you doing? Like, the coach put him on the bench for attempting threes in the game, and, you know, now he could hit him. Which is a much more exciting game when it when you're driving rather than it being a shooting game, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah when you have a stretch big, you know, it stretches the floor, plain and simple. The yeah. lane is wide sure. open. You don't have that big guy. You know that big that the opposing center's got to step out with you, and that leaves sure. the lane wide open. So sure. you sure. need that. You need that Charles Oakley. Yeah. In the uh, in the middle. Yeah, but the Charles right Oakley won't be in the middle because he's got to go guard Kristaps Porzingis, who could shoot the yeah. three. So <laughs> you, you know, it's funny. I asked Oak and mm -hmm. I asked uh, Dale Davis. I was with them in Charlotte. I said, "Hey, who reminds you of yourself?" And they both said That's any variation question. of. 
uh, Draymond Green and DeMarcus Cousins. And oh, I wow. think that they exemplified the drawing big man, mm-hmm. uh, the guy that can take it in the post. The only difference is, you know, Davis didn't have a, a three-point shot. Mm-hmm. Oakley was an undersized big man. Yeah, he had as a well mid-range, as, as, but not really a three. Right. Oh, yeah. That's and, why I'm, I'm a little concerned about Zion because I think he's amazing. But playing the, the power forward position, he's only – Six seven, and he's not a a shooter like you know, like the what the big man has developed well, into. Draymond Green six seven, so yeah, but Draymond, he's more fluid than Zion. Yeah, yeah, and Draymond Green is an elite defensive player as well. Zion is, is all right on the defensive end, but Draymond is elite. Who's the former Laker that's on the Pelicans now? Pe- big man. Uh, Julius Randle. I think that Zion Williamson is going to be in the long term uh, a. Com- Zion Williamson is going to be somewhere in between Blake Griffin and uh, him. Because mm. I, because honestly, Julius Randle. I I like R. J. Barrett a, 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 a little bit better. I mean, I know he's scoring. A, I mean, it's not that much. But it's like three tenths of a point more than Zion right now. But I just like R. J. Barrett as far as if I was gonna, if I had the number one pick in the draft, I would probably take R. J. Barrett. Over uh, Zion. I agree. And I also do think as the later rounds of of the NCAA tournament uh, elapse, Mm -hmm. I think Jay Moran is going to get more love. I think that he's out of Weber State, if I'm not mistaken. uh, He's amazing. A a guy that legitimately uh, is in the spitting image of of somewhere between a Russell Westbrook and a a Damian Lillard Mm -hmm. uh, and can hit big shots and Mm -hmm. is not afraid to put his his, 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 his reputation on the line. I think that Zion Williamson is great for views and he even brought the president out in the Duke, yeah. North Carolina game, yeah. former president uh, Barack Obama. Mm-hmm. Still my president. Still my president. I was about to but, say, um, still you know, my at president. The, at the end of the day, I, I think I think um, when you see the tournament, you're going to see yeah. some things from R.J. Barrett. I do think he's a better all-around player. I think uh, we're going to see a lot more from Cam Reddish in the tournament as well. I agree. And I, I, I also think that Cam Reddish is going to have a really good uh, pro career. It's, it's tough for him right now because it's like, you the third guy on the team with those, with Zion and R.J. Barrett, so it's a little bit tough. But I think once he goes into the league, I think he's going to have a really uh, good career. Now, someone like Andrew Wiggins out of high school, he had a huge hype, like he's the next LeBron James. He mm-hmm. obviously didn't meet the hype. Yeah, you're saying Zion, he's going to be somewhere between Randall and Blake Griffin. So you're saying he's not really going to be, you know, meet the hype of being like a top five player? I wish him well, um, but I think skill set wise, I'm saying, uh, I think one thing I admire about Blake Griffin uh, as a guy that was a three, four, five tweener is the fact that he wasn't just a guy jumping over key of cars. He's a guy that extended his his, his jumper. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Blake Griffin's not an insult, but he's not a top five player. He's not a top five player, but I think he can give you five to ten more years in the NBA. Yeah, uh, a, a more polished Antonio McDice. A guy that was a high flyer that once he got hurt, that, that, was that it, didn't it was translate to the next level. Yeah. When I look at Julius Randle, um, I think Julius Randle is a guy that was very severely underrated in L.A. And it was a cluster jump, uh, or I don't want to curse, but a, a lot of people within the Lakers that studied his growth. And I think being in New Orleans uh, mm-hmm. can, can preserve his career. Uh, yeah. I, to answer your question about being a top five player, uh, I'm not Jay Billis. I can't forecast people's future, but I do think that um, I do think that I like R.J. Barrett and Jay Morant better in the long run. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's no insult. That's just what I prefer. Yeah. I now, th- I, big in the news, Zion did get injured. Everyone yeah. sure. voicing their opinion whether he should come back if he's healthy or not. Uh, what do you think? I think that this is a kind of a situation like uh, football. Mm-hmm. Do guys play for bowl games or not? Uh, and I think when you look at the situation with Zion, you got to see how big it is. I think sometimes uh, you have to suck it up. And, mm-hmm. you know, I also do think that he needs to hold that, that trump card when it comes time to actually sign with a team uh, or sign with a, a sneaker company. Yeah. Uh, one thing we did. Better, we, be them, better than them daggone that's shoes. Yep, yeah. that's that's not looking good for Nike. With the, the way they collapse like that, I was, first of all, terrified. But I was like. Those were some big baller brand shoes? No, they were Nikes. <laughs> Imagine. Oh, okay. And he's, he was forced to wear Nikes because of Duke. So, yeah. you know. Wow. Well, you know, it's interesting. You, you bring up uh, Nike. Uh, and Puma put out a, a since-deleted tweet saying that wouldn't happen in, in Nike shoes or in Puma shoes. <laughs> yeah. Who 
what? And, and I think that was perfectly executed. Being in Charlotte yeah. over the weekend, Puma was pushing hard. They gave me a pair of sneakers while I was out there. They feel like Nikes. Mm -hmm. I'm not, they didn't pay me to say that, but what I will say is the, all of the hype that's going on with all these different sneaker companies, I do think that Nike has now given sh companies like Adidas, uh, even And One or Reebok or Puma yes. uh, an edge uh, well, Puma and people. A lot of the guys that came Kevin in last Knox year. and Demarcus Cousins is a, is a, yeah. is a, he sabotaged his sneaker to. <laughs> <laughs> that was like because yeah. we see you know fake things going out there with sabotage and all that. No, now, I think so. that was real. No, no that was real because yeah. you're, you're not gonna yeah. risk hurting your uh, right. Because like, uh, that in injury could have been worse. Like yeah. the way he felt like that, I thought it was worse from watching it. Do you think he has a lawsuit? Mm. That they're saying because he's forced, he was forced to wear Nikes. Number one, number two, the NBA forcing him to go to college and not being able to be drafted at a uh, high school, and then. And you know, so one against Nike for the I mean the, the the shoe, one against Duke, Duke for forcing him to wear Nike, and one against the NBA for forcing him to not be able to play in the NBA. Do you think he, if he would have sued the NBA, that would hinder his? I don't his. think. I mean, Sheesh. it's not a career-ending injury, so I doubt he's going to sue anybody. Yeah. So even Nike. If, well, even Nike, because he might want a contract with Nike. He'll and get, say, a, he'll hey, get that back you know. in the long and get $100 million yeah. when he turns pro from Nike. So, yeah. yeah. Know, I ain't going to sue them right now, but they don't give me Nike million. is still the big name in the shoe industry yeah. as far as money and everything. So, they're, you know. I think well, someone else was like Puma. Somebody, if he, if he signs know, with someone that. else like Puma or something like yeah. that, then maybe he'll. That's going to force, that's going to jack his value up, particularly with that tweet from Puma. Uh, yeah. Particularly the rollout that Puma just had yeah. uh, this weekend, um, mm. and then also Nike might just pay him more specifically because to get over that, yeah. you know. That's crap. I've never seen a shoe rip like that. Yeah, I've never seen that. That's like the the Verizon guy leaving Sprint. Like he's yeah. gonna be like, I went to Puma because the, the shoe fell apart, yeah. Yeah. almost messed up. They my might try to you know, reconcile you know the that. Be crazy. They might try to reconcile that with a a better offer. Yeah, or, yeah. Or, you know. I don't know. It, that, that shoe looked like some sneakers he bought on Jamaica Ave. Listen. Yeah, some fake Jordans. Yo. Straight <laughs> up. Wobiles. <laughs> They're psyches. Did you say Wobile sneakers? <laughs> I can't Mike stand you. you. Hey. I can't <laughs> stand you. Never, you never know, man. I, first of all, I was pissed off because, you know what I'm saying, like, as a Duke fan, 36 seconds into the game, right. he goes down. This is and the Obama biggest was game. like, and come on. Everybody that's was terrible. In a game that cost $2,600 a ticket. Only thing that cost more than that was the Super Bowl. Listen. Can I ask y'all a question? Did y'all see Obama's coat? Listen, with the 44? Yeah, he was. He First was, of all, recognize who you're dealing with. He was with, styling a profile. That's, 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 that's the real swaggy P right there. Listen. If you don't set, just clip, you're going to take me out my character, Cliff. Stop it, okay? Don't tell me about no strawberries right now while we live on the air, please, Cliff. <laughs> and them glow in the dark basketballs he been trying to make recently. Those $15 strawberries probably yeah. would have done Listen. a better job. They would have done better, though. They would have held that better. They would have done better, though. They would have. But listen, let's get into the fact that those tickets were that price. $2,600. And, and say, listen, right? yes, 26 right? Mm -hmm. And this whole argument about players not getting paid, like this is Knowing a first that Obama's in the thing building kinda, that came you know. to my mind. Like you guys are selling tickets for that price and there's still an argument about D1 athletes getting paid or not. Like do yeah. you see who's in the crowd? What attention that's bringing? Like, I'm maybe I'm biased because I was a D1 athlete. It's, it, it's also the biggest rivalry in, yeah. in college sports. Right, but overall, that's not the only tickets the that's high. A lot of those. Right, the attention that college high. basketball gets or football, I just feel like they need to be. Even though the the, the bad like football teams, them tickets cost. Cause I know so uh, like Rutgers hasn't kicks. hasn't won in years. A uh, friend, uh, friend of mine has season uh, tickets. Those tickets ain't ain't no you know cheap tickets no. either. Energy solutions feel right. Like yeah, yeah. And it, so it's I plus mean, you're forcing players to wear a particular brand of sneakers and stuff. Yeah. You know, like I mean, it's a they business. Should get some, it's a business. And the you know what I mean? Face facts. Pay those boys, please. Get them a check. Um, it's too much money. I, I it was uh, Texas uh, Tech a couple of years ago had generated more revenue than a couple of uh, NFL teams. When uh, Johnny Football was still was still playing, yeah, mm -hmm. and these guys are not getting paid, and, and they're gonna get in trouble if they ch make money off of get signed an autograph Crazy. or anything. I remember when LeBron James was in high school at St. Vincent St. Mary's High School in Akron, and uh, he got in trouble for having a, a Hummer and Car, yeah. Yeah. accepted a couple of uh, throwback jerseys from a local store, and how people were in uproar over it. Number one, because LeBron's mother, Gloria James, uh, purchased a Hummer with, a, I guess, a. a was it an insurance policy or somehow? Some kind of, yeah, some loan. Something, I, I remember. It was yeah. a loan or something of that sort. <coughs> and people were upset about that. And then mm. they were upset with 
um, the, the throwback jerseys. She should have got a Honda. Showing well, first of all, when your son is LeBron James, your credit should be good in advance. There's, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. A bank saying, you know what, I'm pretty sure you're good for it, so we're going to give you this loan. But, sure. But, I mean, I heard the argument kind of being some of them obviously go to the next level, but at the end of the day, some people, that is the highlight of their career. That's the height of their career. So if they're selling tickets at that price and getting that attention, yeah. why not break these players off of something, being that some of them won't make it to professional? Yeah. League, so I don't know. Something needs to be They can go to uh, LeVar Balls. JBL. Yeah, there you go. JBL. Get a nice little check. Uh, we're we're going to bring out Ladybug in a bit, but before we do that, let's take some of these fan mail questions. Uh, Jose from Washington writes Will the Lakers make the playoffs? I mean, we talked about it at the top of the program, he's in playoff mode. He activated of it. They don't make the playoffs. Recognize who's dealing with King He's James. He's such man. a hater. Stop like, playing. This is crazy. Tenth place. I know. I know you would love for them to not make the playoffs. That man. That, that would be would, hilarious. That would probably be the the best thing that ever happened to you in life. I might actually show, use my Instagram but... live for the second time if that happens. <laughs> You, hold, you heard him, right? They gonna they gonna you probably ain't gonna use it again then. The next time he's gonna use it, then Knicks will be in the playoffs. Say what? Yeah. What do you say about the Knicks <laughs> in the playoffs? Yeah. I said the next time he goes on Instagram live, the Knicks will be in the playoffs. Besides <laughs> that, man, don't worry. Speaking man. of the Knicks, uh, Mike from Queens wrote in, <laughs> how likely is it that the Knicks get two max players with KD being one of them? Rumors have it that KD, but every Ooh, year would, we get yeah. rumors is, yeah. that the top player is considering the Knicks. Know, so. Scoop, come on, I know you know. I know you know if KD is coming to Give New York. Give us a T, Scoop. We need to know. Tell the Give family. Give us a T. Right right scoop, here, scoop, scoop, scoop. I got a story Give for us you that I haven't scoop. told anybody. Let's get it. So this will be on my Instagram later. Juice. <laughs> All right, so for those who are paying attention, uh, in September I broke a story uh, that indicated that Kevin Durant, a, a source confirmed with me that Kevin Durant uh, will become a Los Angeles Lakers next season. Um, I said that in September. Uh, and a lot has happened since then. You've seen Draymond Green and KD go out, and a lot mm -hmm. of stuff has gone on in the news. And um, LeBron picks KD first in the All Star game. I so think that, that's, I mean, that's pretty much you. You got to pick KD. That does not. But this is what I say. Uh, while my I, I am sticking with my source and what my source had to say, I'll add uh, that in speaking with some other league sources, they shared with me um, that. If the Knicks are to get uh, Kevin Durant, one of the key pieces within the Knicks organization already uh, that would lead him to that uh, decision would be their assistant coach, Royal Ivy, uh, who is front, went to the University of Texas with Kevin Durant and in addition to that actually recruited him to go to uh, Texas but way back when. Uh, Kevin Durant will actually be in his wedding this summer. Uh, mm. Royal Ivy will be married this summer. This is what I'll say to you. I spoke to Kevin Durant uh, over the weekend and uh, introduced myself at a party. And long story short, I didn't mention the team, but I told him I was the person who broke that story. Mm -hmm. His response to me, you're welcome. So, hold on. <laughs> what? On the back, Scoop, come on, you're playing games, Scoop. I'm not playing, playing games. Playing games, Scoop. Okay. Put the camera on, Scoop, please. Time Would you out. put the camera on, Scoop? Get this man a camera right now. Please. All right, you ready? Come on, get What's him ready. What's your question? Wait a minute. You got to look into this camera. I'm looking. Scoop. I'm get, looking. Get, come on, man. Get Scoop's camera out, please. Okay. Now, Scoop. I'm gonna, do you want me to tell I you the you story again? One more time. Okay. Where is Kevin Durant going to be playing next season? If, if, if it were to end today, I would say the Los Angeles Lakers, but the Knicks aren't that far off. Okay. And I'll also add, don't sleep on the notion that if the Golden State Warriors do win another championship this season, mm -hmm. he could sign a one plus one. So... You know, barring, you know, what he said about the toxicity and all that. That had nothing to do with LeBron, though. Okay. In the age of aggregation, you can make whatever you want to sound like whatever you want. Yeah. He never mentioned that LeBron was toxic. But when you said he was going to L.A., he came to the man, Kevin Durant. Himself. K.D. Trey said, you're welcome. Yes. Is that what you're to so I'll run the story back. I heard it first. Because I'll run, ahead, I'll run the story he was back. Yeah, to have have the story. story. I, ahead, I will run the story back. I ran into Kevin Durant at a party. Mm -hmm. Kevin Durant and I introduced myself, said, hey, you remember that story that ran about you going to a specific team uh, that ran on ESPN, was all over the news? He said, no, I don't pay attention to that. I said, I'm going to ask you again. Do you remember a story about you going to a specific team back in September that was reported? Mm -hmm. I said, for, before we started the conversation, I said, I want to thank you. You helped my career. He said, how did I help your career? And then I said, hey, do you remember that story that ran? He said, no, I didn't hear it. I said, I'm going to ask you again. Did you hear that story? Yeah, I heard that story. I said, that's me. My name is Brandon Scoopy Robinson. He looked at me, he laughed, and he said, 
you're welcome. Mm, mm, mm. There it is. Right. <laughs> 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 we got Scoop B. You heard it first. Yes. Real fans, real talk. Come on, man. There you go. So first of all, Scoop B, <laughs> tell, tell them really quick, um, the podcast, give me all the information. Do I look at this camera or am I looking at you? No, you're looking at the camera, okay? <laughs> Let the people so at for home those know. who are tardy to the party, my name is Brandon Scoopy <laughs> Robinson. I am the host of the Scoopy Radio Podcast. We garnered 3.5 million streams last year. We're available on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Play, TuneIn App, Stitch App, or you can visit ScoopyRadio.com. We've had anybody from DJ Khaled, uh, Mark Cuban, Jamal Crawford, uh, the voice of Siri. Uh, we've had um, uh, Too Short, a myriad of other people. Uh, have not said this publicly. I'll say it on your show. Uh, I actually two weeks ago started uh, doing television on MSG Network. Uh, you'll see you'll see the show uh, on I MSG Network called yeah, People on, Talking Sports. And you're gonna uh, bring your co-host to do Scoop A. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, my man. So yeah, started in the business when I was 12 with the Nets. Put some respect on this man's Listen. name, please. Put some respect on and his name. And when he sat down, I said, the, "The legend, the goat." Like I'm growing, but exactly. I'm here. Any, uh, any on 2K. What's up? This too. Yeah. This too. But listen. And I'll, I'll give you guys our information uh, as we bring Ladybug on to the program. Uh, RealFansRealTalk.com is the website. At RealFanTalk is the Instagram and Twitter. Make sure you uh, follow us uh, also on our YouTube page, For the Fans Productions. YouTube.com forward slash For the Fans Productions. All the social media, everything is on the realfansrealtalk.com website, so you can follow us, like us directly on the realfansrealtalk.com website. All the information is there. We got some of our archived episodes out there as well. So one-stop shopping, all our social media. If you scroll down to the bottom of realfansrealtalk.com, you can get it right from there. But So that our fans don't get mad. It's everyone's favorite ladybug. She's here. We got Scoop B giving us the scoop, and we got Ladybug giving up to the room. Hey, lady. Now. How you doing, Scoop B? I'm doing wonderful. How you doing? I'm, I'm just loving the energy because you're doing so much good things. I'm trying to prosper in 2019, so I'm happy I no, met you. No, no weapon for the guests that shall prosper. <laughs> All right, so that's why I need the positivity yes, to man. prosper. So yes, congratulations on MSG. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm the first female of a generation of men, and these guys yes, know, so sports is my life. Amen. But they have me here for the drama, and I ain't mad about spilling some tea. Uh-oh. So, um. Um, Tristan Thompson, ladies and gentlemen. Is it playoff season again? It's not the playoff season. It's not, so and the Cavs wouldn't make early. it if it was playoff season. <laughs> but I'm just saying, <laughs> usually around playoff season when he start cheating and when he start getting yeah, messy. So true. he's doing a little early this year. Yeah. And all I'm saying is that, you know, you, you I know you ain't keeping in the family, but shorty was dang near family, sir. That's all I'm saying, sir. If you know the archives, you know and if y'all watch Real Fans Real Talk, didn't I talk to Tristan Thompson last year? You did. I'm just saying, Mr. Thompson, me, you had a conversation last year about this. And all I said was get your life together because you're being pretty messy. And we know people love you. They respected you. They wanted you to do what you got to do in the playoffs because everybody respect the playoffs. But Playoffs? Le Le LeBron went in cheat mode and activated his cheat code and then... <laughs> Tristan Charles actually cheated. His <laughs> Actively ball. cheated. Yeah, because you said the <laughs> playoff, so if he thinks it's, you know what, you with, know. The, with the amount of athletes and guys that the the the, the, the Kardashian sisters run through, I mean, <laughs> it's bound to happen. There's bound to get some get back on, on one of them, and, you know, at some point, because I know she didn't have what she had. Rashad McCann's before. She had uh, a She had Arnold. her share, yes. You know what I'm saying? And then Kim had Chris Humphreys, Reggie Bush. Somebody's we, firing when, back when, at the Kardashians. When, they're, they're out they of here. So what, she was infiltrating? She, she kind of infiltrated they if that's what a, you want to say. They get a taste of their own medicine. We got the, the brothers got to take she, the power back from the Kardashians, wow. man. <laughs> they're over there. So the are we? So, 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 so the way this is sounding, and Scooby, I'm not adding you in this. I just talked to them this way. Is that what you got condoning this, sir? Is this what you saying? First. All, because the, the playoffs is not on the line, this first, is cool? First of all, to, to quote the uh, great Charlemagne God, black men don't cheat. So there's that. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about over there. Miss what I'm saying <laughs> is somebody need to get some hit back on them Kardashian sisters because they've been doing too much, okay? And now they're going to taste of their own So medicine. then my question now is Kylie to blame because that's Kylie B BFF. That's her homegirl. That's know? her friend. What's that she song put her on. Man, uh, she Face gave her that? money. What's that? What's Song, 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 what's it We're not you know saying that on here. You know the song. What's the song? Say this. What's the song, ladybug? It's Get Down, Tatiana. Exactly. I ain't gonna say That's all a whole that lot of Tatiana's running around that uh, circle 
And now they getting a little taste of their own medicine. So it's all good in the hood. That's what you're saying. Listen, that's their business. I'm a grown man. I Christian started going to business. has the same mentality as this OG Larry I used to know <laughs> who said he doesn't cheat because he's not married. Only his wife is married. So There you go. I mean, I don't necessarily so, uh, agree with listen, it, but I'm just saying. It is that the real fans, real talk audience has to understand where these two men stand point on this topic is. That's not and what I believe And you guys got in. it from their mouth. I'm just saying that's you not You just that's heard, not I didn't say I anything. I'm just saying. I asked a question, I'm, they I'm said the truth, and result. now you know what it's hitting First for. First of all, do you have proof that that man was stepping out? There is. There was videos you of them two video together. Of him, in, a, in a sexual kind of situation? Oh, no, 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 no. There was no, there was no videos like that. I would. I would not video, speak no lie. I would happen. not say nothing. I have not seen no myself, video. so I would not say that. Happen. It did not happen. It didn't happen. It was no okay. Video. All right. Oh, really, really quick. I got to <laughs> school. I got to ask you. What's last up? time you came up here, you was talking about your brother, uh, Big Baby Miller. <laughs> you were trying, trying, trying to call for the Deontay fight. It did not happen. Right. It may yes. happen eventually. Okay. However, I'm going to be there. I know you're happy. He does get Anthony Joshua at Madison Square Garden. Mm -hmm. Before, I'm going to let you answer. I just want to get this out there right now, Anthony Joshua. I just want to say, I, how much Eddie Murphy said it in life. I just think he's he's uh, S O F capital T <laughs> for coming to the United States to fight and not fight Deontay Wilder in the United States. Fight. Agreed. No disrespect to, to Big Baby Miller, but you know we're talking about the, the the two top or two out of the three top in the division. If you're gonna come to the United States to fight. You should have came here and fought Deontay, Deontay. Wilder yes. mm -hmm. and stop playing. Because what you're going to do is if you come over here and get a win, you're going to talk crazy like, oh, I came to the United States and I did this. No, nah, I ain't trying to hear that. But go ahead, Scoop B. I think it's going to be a good fight. Uh, I, hope, I, hope, I hope Big Baby knocks him out, though. I, I do, too. Uh, I like Big Baby a lot. Um, he's definitely motivated. Uh, mm -hmm. We've talked uh, over a little bit over the last couple of weeks. But what I will say is um, in watching that press conference yesterday, um, I'd like him to tone it down a little bit, but I also noticed well, he that... Pushed, he pushed the life out of him. Uh, he, he did. Mm -hmm. And if you're watching, baby, I'm still scared of you, uh, so I'm not messing with you. However, <laughs> me personally, I would tone it down a little bit because he's had such a squeaky clean image. Mm -hmm. He's had this, 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 with a funny, I guess, uh, him talking about his food and everything else. People mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. I don't want people's perception to change of him based upon that. Um, weigh in on other stuff, but I also do think that people will forget that if he knocks him the hell out. Oh, and yes. um, All the way. I do think that we are in a results driven society. And uh, you know, we always pulling for Brooklyn, so he looked the, he, the guy looked a little scared of big, big, big baby, a little bit. He may have bit off more than he can chew, thinking that you know he was taking the easy route and not going for Fury or Deontay Wilder. And I hope. He doesn't no. as underestimate Big Do you baby, think it's a similar does, situation of Apollo Creed picking Rocky Balboa and Rocky Balboa knocking him the hell out? It can be. I definitely That's think. What I, I can see that all the way. Um, because once again, you know, a lot of the, you know, the European fighters, they don't do well. They don't come to the, to the United States and, and fight over here and do well. Mm -hmm. The only exception, again, that, that I really know is, is Joe Calzaghe, but he fought... Roy Jones and he fought Bernard Hopkins way, way, way past their prime. Right. Other than that, these guys come over here and they get their brush Horrible. Mm -hmm. with Ricky Hatton. He was the top dog. He came over here and Mayweather put him on his butt. You know, Pacquiao did the same thing. When they leave that comfort zone, um, you know, it's not the same. He looked a little bit thrown. A lot smaller than, than Big Baby, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think the weight thing is the only thing he may think he has on him. And I think that even though Big Baby is not as, as lean as him, yeah. and he's strong, I think that that power punch by Big Baby, Big Baby got speed. Yeah. He's like a, 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 a he's like a Escalade with Lamborghini doors. He's hybrid. Mm -hmm. And I think that um, in order for Big Baby to win, he's got to intimidate him, but he's got to come swinging early on. Because I think if if he if he makes him go to twelve rounds, I, he's I'm not going to last. I'm not I'm yeah. not feeling that. So he's got to knock him out. He may want to tie him out. And yeah, that's, 60, Joshua's that's Joshua's game. That's Joshua's game. Joshua's game is going to be to tie him out. Mm -hmm. I see it. If it goes a distance, I'm gonna have to go with Joshua because yeah. And I mean, unless he got, was to get a late round knockout, but you know, you gotta you gotta beat the champ. And they're not just giving away titles. Ain't really no, ain't no, ain't no free ones. Yeah, at so all. If it, if it goes a distance, I, I'm gonna be. It's gonna be. Because he's strategic like sure. that, so that's probably gonna be his. But I think Baby's strategic too, and I think he gets his. I think he gets his his early rounds, 
in press conferences. Yeah. And then I think from there, it's talking on social media, using that to his advantage. And then I think he actually does the work. Yeah. He's not just style, he's substance. I mean, his, his, his punch combinations, they hit. Um, his, his, his impact, it's there. Yeah. Uh, and, and I do think that, uh, I, think, I think Baby's coming for that number one spot. And I think this match at Madison Square Garden uh, will begin to introduce the world. Shout out to uh, to to Big Baby. Congratulations yes, on getting that fight. Yes, cause you know, yeah, I know it's all about Brooklyn, and uh, we got another fighter that will be fighting at the Garden as well. Another family member to to, to real fans, real talk. Uh, Bruce Carrington. Yes. Uh, Two-time Golden Glove champion, Olympic gold medal uh, alternate, Olympic excuse me, Olympic uh, team alternate. He will be fighting at the Garden as well. You know, we're gonna be in the building for that. We will probably pull up on that Big Baby. Uh, fight as well. I think we need to. May just have to one time. I think we, we Since I can't go to London, because I was so ready to go to London yeah. and deal with that them in London. So, and so. that's when that. No, yeah, so we got to get this one out of the way. Doing this, so yeah. it's fine. It's all right. But we mentioned we Fury going. before. Tyson Fury uh, signs with Top Rank. Still mm -hmm. looking for that Wilder rematch. It, it'll get done eventually. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm sure of it. They, those are two guys that aren't afraid to jump into the ring and fight. So I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure. That'll get done. They're going to set it up nicely. Yeah, got to do a couple of, you know, negotiations. Should be another good fight. Looking forward to that one. Speaking of signings, we have uh, Manny Machado uh, did not sign with the Yankees. He signed with the Padres. Padres. Yeah. Three hundred million. Three hundred million. And uh, Bryce Harper reportedly turned down several offers yeah. for three hundred million. I don't think Machado wants a championship because I don't understand why he was signed with the Padres. <laughs> Three hundred million is nice, but uh, you could have took two hundred forty from the Yankees and made more than three hundred million in the first three years here of your career with all mm -hmm. the merchandise big, and, and all big, that. Big, big George Steinbrenner would have signed Machado and Bryce and Harper Bryce for three hundred million. And what else he wanted at that? At that, at that time. We would have had a, an entire All Star team Definitely. for you know in rest, all rest in all nine George, positions man. on the field. Real quick, though, also, too, I definitely got to shout out my boy, Cap. He got his jersey in the black and white just to su support activism. And that was the thing a lot of people were saying. Back in the day, Real Fans Real Talk, we had this debate. Does he want to be this athlete or does he want to be an activist? And honestly, for him to take that jersey and, for to, and to make it a staple, I support that all the way because a lot of people use these jerseys as a way to promote themselves as athletes, but he actually yeah. took it a step further and just took the seven and the Kaepernick. He didn't do, you know, yeah. usually people want to overdo it with the black power fist or, you know, something that's very yes, ethnic more. to give, but yeah. it's the fact that it's so simple, but it can be worn for everybody. Yeah. Cap, I'm still with you. I still support you. And I think that little bit really took it over the top. So yeah. I just had to acknowledge that and, and plus, support plus, that all the way. Plus he got a settlement from the NFL. We'll never know what the dollar amount is, but I'm sure That's why I bring paid. that up. You I've heard that from that. 80 to 100 million. Around, Easily. Around the same uh, time that Kareem Hump gets a job back and the controversy was extra strong that mm -hmm. he was still working and Cap still isn't. We're going to get uh, into that a little bit more next week. We've got to go in depth with that. But we mm -hmm. do got to wrap it up. Scoop B, thank you so much yes. for having coming me. Coming back. You know, you're welcome to come in any time to, to come back, pull up on us. For sure. Congratulations on, on the MSG. Yes. Thank you. And All make right. sure you check out Scoop A and Scoop B. <laughs> on MSG. Oh, man. You heard I'm it first. Weak. You heard it first, man. So for myself, Trip Young, Mark the Stat Man, Scavage, Ladybug, Scoop B. And, of course, Emerald Marie. We will see you guys next week, man. Peace. Good night. Realtalk.com, where Arthur Diamond Trip Young and intern Tom for the white and black fans, Asia to Manhattan. I get all my facts from my bro, Mark the Stats, man. If you're not tuned in, I recommend the CAT scan. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And if your brain checks out, then you deserve a backhand. <laughs> Sports, gossip, all the hot topics. Hey, hey. Real fans, Realtalk.com got it. Uh -huh. They got the hottest bloggers. Did Jeremy Lynn hurt? We'll log on to the site and you can hear it from them first. Uh -huh. I'm talking about the latest. Yeah, I'm talking yeah. about the greatest. Yeah, yeah. Go check out the archives. Even Tell a neighbor, tell him Bobby sent ya. From spring to winter, tuning in should be the only thing on your agenda. Certified coach, son, you know what I'm about, son. Real fans, real talk .com. I'm out, one. Real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk .com. Real fans, real talk .com. Uh, Real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk .com. Real fans, real talk .com. Sport is a common denominator in the world. And if there's any place where there's equality, 
It's really in sports. RISE stands for the Ross Initiative in Sports for Equality. We're dedicated to promoting understanding, respect, and equality in sports and beyond. With the country struggling with race, we believe it's time for the sports industry to come together and really unite the nation. We want people to speak up, take the pledge, and rise up against racism. And we'll rise up. I pledge. I pledge. To treat everyone with respect. Respect. And dignity. I will not tolerate discrimination or harassment of any kind. I will speak up. Speak up. Whenever I know discrimination is happening. And I will stand up. Get up. Rise up for victims. Take the pledge at risetowin.org.